In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the perks of our Cam Instructor courses, and that is the Ask the Instructor feature. Basically what this is, is as you're going through our courses online, uh, often students might get stuck and they're able to reach out through email directly to me uh, with their problems. Uh, and usually I'll reply within 24 hours and more often than not, I reply with a video like the one I'm about to show you. Overview here, student is working on an exercise file of a 3D lesson and the message comes in like this. This one isn't making sense. The print clearly shows some angles where I need to create three different shapes that I will need to connect but I don't see anything talking about what they are. No matter how hard I try, I cannot draw this one. Maybe the lesson isn't well explained, but I'm stumped here. And this is a very common issue with online training. You're going through it yourself, uh, you get stuck, you get frustrated, you quit, you don't come back. And this is where our Ask the Instructor function comes in. And let's have a look at the response video to this question. Okay, uh, this part here, 11A, it says you're having some issues with uh, some of the dimensions. Okay, so I'll go through this, and I guess I might as well, do, I'll explain it here first, and if that's enough for you, you can kind of pause the video and, and go off and, and attempt it then. Uh, but I'll also go through drawing it, and just in case you still get stuck on it, you can come back and watch the rest of the video and, and see uh, some steps used to draw it. So... Just by reading what you're saying here, you're, you're after some angles and stuff. So some of the, uh, I guess where it can be difficult is if you <clears throat> if you start on this part and you look at this feature right here and you try and draw this, uh, if you only look at this view right here, yeah, you can't draw this just from this block of information because you've got, uh, well, the size of the block is fine, but uh, you can see you've got a rad here, you've got how deep it is, but what are these lines coming off at? Uh, you could say the same thing over here. You know, if you look at just this section of the, the, the drawing, there's not enough information there. But if you're using this part of the drawing, you can derive uh, locations from it to draw these sections over here. So basically when we're looking at uh, this, you know, kind of this right in here, it's got an arc that's anchored to center. And then there's a line that comes out. Uh, it's obviously, it's tangent off of that arc. Uh, and it intersects at the end of the part 520 up from the center. So that spot right there obviously is exactly the same spot as that line right there. So now, given this information here, this 520, we now know this is 520 from the center to here. So now you can derive uh, a width of this. So now you know the width of this. Now you know where this, so now you can draw that just using this piece of information over here. Same with this guy over here. Uh, we can get the distance between here and here just by using this circle right here. So the circle is, uh, three quarters uh, radius. So that line again comes straight out and it does down here as well. So that could give you that width of inch and a half, which you could use an you know, inch and a half over here. You know, this is a rad that uh, again, there's the center lines of the circle and they're right on this edge. So that'll give you a depth as well. And now you can draw that guy up over there. Uh, this, this cross section in the middle, uh, you might need to zoom in a little bit so you can zoom in. So you can see you got a call here and the rads here again. So what I would do on this one is I would draw these two circles. So you got a spacing on the center uh, of the circles of 400. So when you're drawing this circle in, you can space one up 200 thou and draw this one circle over here and you can draw this circle in over here. So you got enough information to draw those two circles. Uh, once you've got that in, this bottom line is fairly straightforward. You just connect the dots there. Then the angle on the sides is basically going to connect uh, tangently. Again, you come off tangent to this, this circle and it connects with the side wall of this profile right here. And you've got a dimension 0.375 for the location of that wall right there. Okay, so again, there's, there's the uh, oral explanation of it. Uh, and I'll go through drawing this thing up here uh, real quick uh, just in case it's still a little bit confusing, but so when I'm drawing this part, what I would suggest you do is start with this this profile up here, you know, top or bottom, doesn't really matter, but I would start drawing this profile first. That'll make drawing these ends, middles, uh, cross sections a little bit easier. So I've got this finished solid model up on here. This was, was used in the print to derive the print. So what I'm going to do here is I'll, I'll draw the part on level one, and then we can come back and compare it to this solid afterwards. Uh, I'm just going to pick the, the middle of my part. Oh, I'm going to get my planes correct here. I'm just going to use the middle of uh, the part as 
origin, and I think this is four and five eight by two and a half. So the first thing I would do here is I would draw these two circles, three quarters, three quarters on the rad, and they're both spaced over inch and a half. So a little circle, and let's go 0.75. I'm just going to use uh, the relative function here. So I'm going to hold down shift, click on origin, and then I can just kind of move this thing over inch and a half, and do the same thing again. and a half. Now we do have one more arc right here, uh, but we're going to want this arc because we don't have a, a dimension here. We just know that it's tangent to this line right in here. So we're going to have to draw this line in first before we draw that, that other arc in. So done with the circles for now. Let's go ahead and draw that line in now while I'm thinking about it. And that's going to be uh, parallel, three eighths. So let's go to horizontal. It's going to come in somewhere about there. Offset three eighths. And while I'm in line, I can do this some other of these lines. I can draw this guy in over here, this guy, and I can mark out this 520 as well. So let's do that 520 next. Just gonna draw a little line there. 520. Switch back into free form, come off tangent. Make sure it goes straight. Looking for that visual cue there. The bottom doesn't matter because we're gonna mirror the bottom anyway, so I'm not gonna draw this bottom line in just right now. Okay, so I've got that. So I've got this line. I've got that. I'm going to draw this circle in now. And we'll do that with an arc tangent function. A uh, bunch of different ways you can do this. You don't have to do arc tangent. I'm just uh, I'm choosing to, to do arc tangent. And it's going to be tangent to this line. And it's going to be about uh, that middle section there. And that's the guy I want right there. So you could draw the, the circle in there using, you know, some little bit of math here, three quarter inch radius and three eighths spacing right here. So that would give you the center location is up uh, 1.125, right? So and x would be at zero. I just picked that way. Uh, so now what do we got left here. I can draw in this line, this line. And then I can put in this fillet over here. And then I think we'll be done that profile. Okay, so let's go to our line endpoint, free form. And this is where we're connecting this guy. So the line's coming off tangent, connecting to that location at 520. This arc, this line is coming off tangent here and it's connecting to this arc over here. That's also gonna be tangent. Okay, and then we have a fillet in here. But before we do that fillet, I will do some trimming just so we don't trim away any of our good stuff. And fill it, and that rad is three, yeah, three quarters. Okay, so there's the profile. And to get the other side, I'll just do a quick little mirror. Oh, I did not get all that selected. There we go. And mirror at about X. Okay. So top profile is done. Uh, now the sides. I'll do this side over here on the end first. And let's switch our planes to right. I'm going to use the tangent function again here, just being a little bit lazy. So I'm just going to draw in a temporary line here to, to help me out. Uh, I'm going to do arc tangent. And let me get my print back here real quick. Rad here is 0.5. Tangent to that. There, that's the guy I want. Okay, I'm just going to do a mirror. This will be mirrored about Y this time. Okay, and connect the dots. A little bit of trimming. Okay, that's the end profile. Again, all we needed there was just the size of this circle, and we're, we know where the end condition there is from that line. The depth is coming from the size of the circle itself, because the center point is anchored on that top edge. 
Uh, let's go and do the middle section now, this guy right here. Uh, so I'm going to do, I'll draw a circle this time, and the circle is going to be, those rads are 0.125. You see there, 0.125. And the location is 0.2 off of center, and it's going to be coming down. So at the bottom of the circle is at uh, 250. And if the rad of this, okay, let's just, uh, let's get, let's get into this here and we'll talk about that in a minute. So I'm going to do uh, relative again, hold shift, click that. Again, we need to move this way, 200 thou. I'm just going to key it in. Okay, and I need to go, so this edge of the circle is already down 0.125 and it needs to end up uh, being down 0.25. So it needs to go down an, an extra eighth of an inch. Okay, same thing, let's do a mirror. Connect the dots. And this is where the, the next part is here, where we're coming up tangent from the circle. And it's going to connect to this line. So here it might be helpful to be in a, a 2D mode, so you don't mistakenly click over, well, if I was in 3D, you don't click over there. And get an odd line like that because uh, this happens to be exactly in line but if we force it to 2d i'm gonna make sure we come off the right side there we go we'll know that that's uh that's a planar line now same thing over here okay a little bit of trimming oh oh yeah these trim these are always oh, gonna click on the right side of the circle here Sometimes divide is not uh, always finicky on where you click first. Okay, so there's that guy. Uh, last end over here. Uh, again, we'll just draw this circle in and then, then just connect the dots. So this is down, same thing, on center, quarter inch down. Oh, I'm in, uh, I gotta get this out of, th there we go. I need to be in 3D for this one. Okay. And then again, just a few little things to clean up. Okay, so there's the wireframe. And there's the underlying solid, and you can see we've matched up uh, perfectly to it. Uh, so yeah, now it's just a matter of making the solid, and I, I, I think you probably got that under, under control. Uh, the issue was some of the deriving some of these dimensions off of uh, other views, and. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that helps out. If not, again, just send me a message and we'll get you sorted.